so over arabian sea the amount of cyclone the frequency of cyclone is far less in comparison to bay of bengal hello everyone i am sanjeev kumar faculty of geography at plutus is today i bring another new topic that is cyclone asna this cyclone asna recently we notice it has hit the coast of gujarat particularly around the region of bhuj around karachi it passed near about 145 km towards northwest from your bhuj region and around 200 km south east from the karachi region in the morning on friday that was 30 august 2024 morning time period near about 5:30 am its location its location was just very close to bhuj region or karachi region this cyclone generally very unusual although it did not cause great amount of casualty in this region yet its damage the damage caused by this cyclone is quite significant in last 4 days we have noticed that more than 13 lives have been lost and there is continuous flood like condition that arises not only in gujarat region but also in surrounding areas in region of kutch in region of saurashtra then indian meteorological department also warned means under this warning system already declared red alert for bhuj region and orange alert especially for goa konkan coast some part of karnataka kerala and also red alert for certain district within karnataka region usually this is not the time of cyclone occurrence in arabian sea yet it has occurred we can notice that you know around after 1891 till 2024 there are only three incidents in 1976 1964 and 1944 only these three cyclone we experience within arabian sea region now in month of august the cyclone activity does not take place what is the region behind it one of the main region is this is the time of southwest monsoon you know towards the indian subcontinent region the southwest monsoon hit the coast of kerala around kochi towards 1st june gradually it expand towards coast of mumbai around 10 to 15 june then it move kolkata in this region around mid of june then towards delhi in month of july by end of july entire indian subcontinent covered within the monsoon wind july and august are the rainiest months in india so these southwest monsoon wind generally interrupted the formation of cyclone if we notice past trend of these cyclone so over arabian sea the amount of cyclone the frequency of cyclone is far less in comparison to bay of bengal 
If four cyclone occurred during a specific time period in Bay of Bengal, during such time period, we can expect up to one cyclone in Arabian Sea. So, why this has occurred this time in Arabian Sea may be due to unidentified factors or if we unable to understand anything, then finally we blame climate change. We cannot neglect the influence of climate change. So climate change is also one of the important factor that is playing leading role in formation of unusual cyclone. Now moving ahead, impact of this cyclone. In Bhuj region, in Gujarat region, there are continuously field like condition and some of the areas a small amount of landslide can take place, loss of life, loss of property and there is loss of electricity, infrastructure, some of the trees also get uprooted, communication, transportation services loss, there is problem with respect to food, resources and different other normal activity in day-to-day -day life. Now, moving towards development of tropical cyclone. We will try to understand what is the mechanism behind development of the cyclone, how the cyclone develop, particularly the tropical cyclone. So, tropical cyclone Generally, large scale air mass. These are large scale air mass which having lowest pressure at center. And this lowest pressure center surrounded by the high pressure winds. Simply we can understand, suppose that Around this Bhuj region, there is center of low pressure as well as high temperature. Low pressure and high temperature. Now away from this low pressure center, there is likely to be high pressure. Let's assume there is 500 millibar pressure at the center, then this pressure, atmospheric pressure is continuously increasing. Suppose that here 600 MB, suppose 650 MB, suppose 730 MB here, like that. So you can experience here, wind likely to be moved from high pressure to low pressure. Wind always move from high pressure towards the low pressure. So, wind likely to be moved in this manner. Now, due to Coriolis force, this wind will deflect it towards right hand in northern hemisphere. So, it will be inward circulatory wind, inward a spiraling winds. So, cyclone is nothing but large scale air mass having lowest pressure at the center and away from it generally higher pressure. This is characterized by inward spiraling winds. Here in this diagram, you can understand, you can look it in better way. So, these inward spiraling wind continuously aggravated the monsoonic phenomena or conditions. So, what happens? Low pressure wind started to move 
towards the space because of high temperature water is started to evaporate water work as a strong factor for motion of these wind so these wind is started to move towards space towards high altitude then high pressure winds continuously started to move towards the center region they started to fill it and when high pressure wind move they move little bit deflected from their original position due to coriolis force and when these moist laden wind warm moist laden wind move into the upper space generally they form very huge voluminous towering vertical cumulonimbus cloud and these cumulonimbus cloud are known for very intensive rainfall prolonged rainfall they are also characterized by thundering lightning and very heavy wind storm although within this asna cyclone we experience the speed of wind was quite normal near about 63 km per hour to around 87 km per hour yet it also caused certain kind of casualties or devastation in this region now let's explore what kind of factors what kind of favorable conditions existed for establishment of or formation of cyclone the very first condition is warm temperature so temperature near about 26 to 27 degrees celsius considered as very much favorable for development of cyclonic phenomena second factor is high relative humidity humidity you can understand the amount of water that present in the air that is humidity but here word i have mentioned relative humidity it means the total capacity of air to hold the water suppose that within 1 cubic meter column the amount of air that existed consist suppose 50 g of water but this 1 cubic meter column air can hold up to 200 g of water means maximum capacity of this air to hold amount of water is 200 g so we can say here the relative humidity is just 25% one fourth just 25% that is not good for formation of cyclone for formation of cyclone this air column should consist near about 150 g of water out of total holding capacity 200 g means near about 75% that is favorable condition for formation of cyclone so higher will be the humidity there are more chances for formation of cyclone now moving to another factor that is atmospheric instability
this atmospheric instability generally caused over the ocean and coastal region and tropical ocean and tropical areas so higher will be instability higher are chances for formation of cyclone then there should be low vertical shearing the shearing force that existed between the wind means rate of change of wind ya rate of speed of wind with respect to different latitude should be less should be low different amount of air different at different altitude should not vary in in great quantity ya with great speed then there is another factor cyclonic vorticity fifth factor there should be high cyclonic vorticity vorticity you can say rate of change of air ya rate of change of motion in the air means higher will be the movement of air higher will be the condition or chances for formation of this cyclone phenomena particularly in tropical region then just opposite to it there are temperate cyclones generally fair weather cyclones they are just opposite to tropical cyclone they are formed by high pressure means around the center here you have the high pressure and low temperature away from it generally you have lower pressure and high temperature so wind is started to move from high pressure to low pressure means outward this is outward circulatory wind due to coriolis force this is started to deflect towards right hand and northern hemisphere we called it anti cyclone anti cyclone generally formed during winter time period or in temperate region these anti cyclone led to fair weather condition because wind when move away from it having high pressure having low temperature generally cool or dry wind this cool and dry wind does not led to formation of cyclone now moving towards naming of cyclone name of cyclone how cyclones are named means who gave the name to this cyclone so naming of cyclone asna it is given by pakistan there is world meteorological department and there are 13 countries particularly in northern indian ocean this north indian ocean comprise of bay of bengal and arabian sea
in south indian ocean madagascar and different other countries they participate but we generally have the concern with bay of bengal or arabian sea so let's limit yourself to north indian ocean means whatever cyclone occur within north indian ocean how they are named they are named by world meteorological department and 13 countries so what are these countries these countries which surround your north indian ocean means from bangladesh india iran malaysia uh, myanmar uh, oman pakistan qatar saudi arabia thailand all such countries all these 30 countries already determined or defined their name in advance this list as per pib information revised in april 2020 before that we also had another similar kind of list so this name asna here belongs to your pakistan earlier we notice there was a cyclone michong that created havoc in tamil nadu andhra pradesh odisha region that also led to higher casualty than this cyclone ashna so these countries had agreement that they will develop some name this name generally should be short means easy to pronounce each and every person can read it carefully without any kind of problem this should be gender gender neutral this name should be cultural yeah more familiar to the people and it should have some significant meaning so different country already named suppose that if next cyclone will come within your bay of bengal in north indian ocean its name will be dana will given by qatar so it is already defined for next few years why we give name to particular cyclone for making common identity so that national disaster management authority rescue operation authority and uh, people who generally get stuck within these cyclone with respect to warning with respect to broadcasting or different other thing they will get all such warning all such information connectivity understanding so there should be a common name and common name given by all such countries now let's have a look of cyclone michong the cyclone michong we notice in december 2023 around 1st december it parked itself maybe around 100 km away from chennai coast then gradually by 4 december 5 december it finally hit the chennai coast not only in chennai but also it caused landslide in several district of andhra pradesh as well as odisha it caused severe casualty due to this normal life get disrupted there was property loss and there were several other problems that arises due to this cyclone like flooding condition knee down water if we talk about cyclonic phenomena then maximum casualty so far caused by this odisha cyclone more than 10000 people died within this cyclone the cyclone it was the super cyclone both andhra pradesh and may 1990 as well as odisha cyclone in 
both are the super cyclone its speed was more than 250 km per hour hundred of villages completely submerged under the water there were very large water waves that hit the coastal region so entire coastal region swept away lot of vehicle that parked around the coastal region either marooned under the water or they swept away by these water waves there were trees poles that uprooted lot of buildings etc schools damages your house get collapsed during such kind of incident now moving towards preparedness during michong cyclone during asna cyclone or different other cyclone what kind of preparedness government do so preparedness government generally develop relief camp in asna case government have shifted near about 80 18000 people to relief camp near about 12000 people have rescued further government generally whenever there is cyclone condition government or various other electricity department etc they cut power otherwise there might be more casualties damages because of short circuit and various other thing further some of the air spaces yeah airport for short duration get closed several flights might be cancelled similarly running train for long journey can be cancelled government did all such thing during such cyclonic condition there is holidays for educational institution there is work from home by private companies or organization etc sector, etc sector, such kind of initiative taken by various other government including state government as well as central government so we have understood the consequences of the cyclone like loss of life destruction of property destruction of infrastructure a landslide then severe disruption in the transportation communication services shortage of food supply and rampant spread of various kind of diseases water borne diseases particularly now what kind of post disaster relief government provided here during disaster or post disaster particularly ndrf national disaster response force plus hdrf state disaster response force these are the authorities which automatically came into action whenever there is such cyclonic phenomena they are further assisted by army and the role of air force also very important here because chopper and various other aircrafts helicopters they uplifted people from stagnant areas from flooding areas then there are fire rescue operation ya yeah, fire personnel there are some other team related to gas supply interruption related to electricity supply interruption they came into operation 
Further, government of India also established the team of doctor and certain other helpers. If outsider are not available, then generally local youth volunteer, they are guided, they are engaged within such operation. Government developed some shelters, generally Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, all such countries which are more prone to cyclonic activity, they have already developed certain public infrastructure just like for shelter purpose. Means during cyclonic condition, they can be utilized frequently to protect people from cyclone. So they have already developed shelters within coastal areas. Further, food delivery, blankets. Then after disaster, rehabilitation, reconstruction, etc. All such operation taken place. Further, government also identify the region. Government do map projection which areas of India are risky with respect to cyclonic phenomena. So particularly over eastern coast, four state plus one UT means Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, West Bengal plus Pondicherry. These are more prone to cyclonic phenomena. Over western side, this is Gujarat, which is more prone, particularly this Bhuj region, more prone to cyclonic activity. Else, entire coastal region, entire coastal state, 13 plus state, more than four union territories are vulnerable with respect to cyclonic phenomena. Hope you have adequate clarity with respect to cyclonic condition. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care.